I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to line your crochet headband with a piece of fabric. Today I'm going to be using my Winter Bliss headband and I'm going to be lining it with this super soft 100% polyester uh, Sherpa fabric by Crafty Cuts. So you're going to need a similar project if you're working along with me and a piece of fabric of your choice as well as a needle and thread and a pair of scissors. So thank you so much for joining me and if uh, you haven't done so already I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and as well stitch tutorials. So thank you so much. And uh, let's get started and learn how to line our crochet projects with fabric. So today for the first thing uh, you're going to need to line your crochet project is um, the actual crochet project. So this is mine here, the Winter Bliss headband. And uh, I'm going to be lining the inside of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn my project inside out. Then you're going to want to take your fabric and just take a moment to take a look at it. Now I've already cut mine to size, but if you take a look at your fabric, some fabrics, depending on the material that it is, will have a stretch to it. So you can see this one has quite a bit of stretch. Now because um, this is a headband and I want to keep that stretch, I want my stretch to run along the circumference, along the length of it. So I'm going to make sure that when I place my headband on the fabric to measure it, that the stretch is on the headband and the stretch on the fabric are both going in the same direction. Okay, so then you're going to simply lay your headband on top of your fabric and you're going to cut it to the proper width. And then to get the length, I simply folded the fabric over top of my headband so that I would get the proper length and then trim it off. Okay, now as far as measuring for this one, because this fabric sheds quite a bit, as you can see in the video, and uh, I went and cut it so that it was a little bit longer than the width of my project because I know that I want to be able to fold over the edges to make them straight and to keep them from fraying. Okay, so once you have your project, some fabrics such as like a polar fleece, you won't need to fold them over um, because they won't fray necessarily but uh, this one this one I do want to and you can see I haven't cut it very straight but that's okay I can hide it as I fold it over then once you have folded it over you can either iron it to hold it down this one kind of stays on its own quite well so I'm not going to worry about doing it anything to it you may want to pin it again depending on your fabric you're then going to take your crochet headband and you're going to lay it over top. And I found the seam because I want my two seams to match just to kind of keep them uh, even and in the same place. And then when I finish off my Winter Bliss headband, this seam is actually going to be hidden underneath that little finishing band that you'll see when you jump back over to the pattern. So I lay my headband over top and then I simply take my fabric and I'm going to pull it across until the edges meet. I want to fold my one end down again. Okay, and they're fairly lined up with the seam underneath. Then take a few straight pins and simply pin it in place. It'll just make it a lot easier as you're working not to have the fabric shifting up against your crochet project. So take a few straight pins, you're just going to pin it in place. Just like so. Okay. 
you can see that once I folded it under that there is a little bit of the blue that's going to be peeking out on my long sides and that's exactly what I wanted again if you're using a fabric that you don't have to fold under then you're going to measure your fabric accordingly as far as the thickness is concerned go back over here and I'm going to put in one more pin to hold down this other side a little bit better there we go You're then going to want to take your needle and thread. Now I'm going to use a slightly contrasting color here. It's a little bit easier for you to see, uh, although it's not going to show up too much. I'm just going to use a cream color. As far as your thread selection, it's really up to you. Um, I find that if you're going to match it, you may want to match it with your crochet project. Uh, depending again or sorry you're going going to want to match it with your fabric because it will show up more on the fabric than it will on your crochet project also when I'm working through and sewing this onto the crochet project project I'm not going to work through all the layers of yarn so it's going to be quite concealed on uh, onto the one fabric side now again this is a quite furry piece of fabric so even if I have like I'm going to use today a slightly off shade it's not going to show through uh, so color choice it's really up to you you're then going to thread your needle using a little bit of your thread and again it's up to you if you want to thread it and double it over all the way or not I like to work over two layers. I find it's a little bit stronger. And then you're going to choose one side. It doesn't matter which side you would like to start working on and you're going to join your thread. When I join my thread I'm going to be sewing through that top layer of fabric just, just barely catching some of the yarn underneath because again, I don't want it to show through all that much. You're then going to start by pulling up your thread. You can leave a little tiny bit of a tail showing to start. And then you're just going to sew in the same spot. Pull your needle under just to make a little bit of a knot that's going to help secure it in place. Do that twice. You feel like you need it. You're now going to, with your fabric now attached to your crochet, and you can see on the other side you can't see my thread at all, you're going to start sewing around one of the long edges of your headband. Keep your fabric in line. Uh, it's nice with the way this pattern has worked. You have nice kind of clean lines to match your fabric up with. And then I simply do a running stitch, grabbing a little bit of the fabric. I'm going down into the into my crochet project and up through the fabric. And you're going to do that all the way along the edge of your headband. Try and keep your stitches fairly even. Again, you're just picking up a little bit of the yarn from your crochet project underneath and then coming up through the fabric up top. You're going to do this all the way along this long edge. When you come to the end of your thread, just simply uh, knot it off, similar in the way that we joined it. Try and keep your stitches even. You don't want them too far apart. You don't want them too close together. I think I'm spreading mine out about half a centimeter here each. And so you're just going to do this all the way around the 
edge of your headband and when you come back to the end you're going to, going to simply tie it off okay so go ahead and do that and then we will work the other side together Now once you have sewn all the way around your long edge and you've come back to your center seam, you're going to sew along that center seam because you want to keep those two pieces together. So continue sewing and again I'm just doing a quick stitch here. My fabric is whole. Uh, hiding my yarn quite nicely or if you're using a different fabric um, that isn't as fluffy, make sure that you choose a color thread uh, that won't show through. So you're just going to quickly stitch across. Now I am just stitching through my two pieces of fabric because once I sew around the other side it's going to hold it uh, together with the, uh, with the crochet piece. And just because my thread here is getting short, I'm just going to bind it off. And get a new piece of thread ready. I'm then going to continue sewing all the way around this other end just as I did for the other side, turning my edges under, making sure that it's nice and lined up with the edge of my headband. I am now coming up, I'm just finishing off my second side here. Coming around back to my seam. And once I get there, I'm going to once again fasten off my thread. Just like so. And then you can go ahead and clip any stray threads that you might have around, uh, pull out any of your straight pins that you may have left hidden in your fabric. I think that was it. And that is now finished. You can turn your project right side out. You shouldn't see any of your threads showing through. And it's still stretchy because I worked the stretch of the fabric along with the grain of the crochet project. So that's all there is to lining your ear warmer. I think this is just a great way to finish off an ear warmer, make it a little bit extra cozy. If you are working the Winter Bliss headband, you can now head on back over to the headband tutorial or ear warmer tutorial and we're going to work our final detail. Thank you for so much for stopping by and uh, again I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye!